One of the biggest mysteries in the history of passenger planes, the Air France jumbo jet, which simply vanished over the Atlantic Ocean three years ago. 228 people on board, including six Americans. ABC's Elizabeth Vargas has spent a year unraveling exactly what happened, and tonight she has new detail about chaos in the cockpit and the passengers in the final minutes. It is three and a half hours into the flight, cruising at 37,000 feet, when Captain Mark Dubois makes a fateful decision. Despite a thunderstorm lurking ahead, he takes a scheduled break. Just a few minutes later, the plane's pitot tube, a piece of equipment that reads the airspeed, suddenly fails. The automatic pilot shuts off. Now the control of the aircraft and the lives of the 228 people on board is in the hands of the least experienced of the three-man crew, 32-year-old Cedric Bonin. And the captain is sitting where I'm sitting right now. Correct. Bill Voss of the Flight Safety Foundation joined us in an A330 flight simulator to recreate what happened. What did he do? He, he pulled the nose of the plane up? A fairly dramatic pitch up. Pulling up is precisely the wrong thing to do. It can essentially cause the plane to start falling out of the sky. Soon, the plane's stall warning goes off. They keep saying repeatedly, what's happening, what's happening, where's the captain? They call for the captain six times. Yeah. yeah. We don't know why it took Captain Dubois more than a minute to return to the cockpit, but two sources tell ABC News that he was traveling socially with an off-duty Air France flight attendant. Were the two together? If the pilot is distracted because he's traveling with somebody, potentially, isn't that part of the investigation? I don't think uh, it could be an explanation of an uh, accident. In the cockpit, Captain Dubois finds a scene of utter confusion. What's happening, he asks. I don't know what's happening, answers one of the co-pilots. Within seconds, the plane has entered such a deep stall, it's plummeting about 120 miles an hour, nose up. Bonas still thinks his instruments are wrong. He asks, am I going down now? Confusion has turned into chaos, with both co-pilots now trying to fly in the plane in opposite directions. A point of exasperation, where you actually have a bit of the discipline breaks down. And then finally, literally three seconds before impact, we hear Robert, pilot Robert, say, oh my God, we're going to crash, I can't believe it. You're not really contemplating the idea that this could end badly. It took six hours for authorities to notice that Air France Flight 447 had disappeared and there was no sign anyone on board knew they were about to crash. No oxygen masks were deployed, no life vests, and there was no announcement on board to brace for impact. Relatives of the victims have often wondered, Diane, that if somebody had noticed the plane was missing sooner, there might have been someone to save. What a report this is, Elizabeth. Thank you. And I want everyone to know that you can see more of Elizabeth's reporting on a special edition of Nightline, Vanished, the Mystery of Flight 447.